Hey guys, it's Phoenix Blade 17. This is part three, three Pokemon XD. Last time, time some strange men came in and took Hook Professor Crane, and we're gonna go outside and see who the heck, who the heck is doing this. And apparently they are very violent. Very, very violent. Very, very violent. And they have a flying car. Car. It's the Jepsons! Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? <laughs> I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor. What? My new lab? Move it. We don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. You people, what are you? No. Oh, well, Phil. What is it, punk? You're not, you're you're gonna play here and try to stop us. I don't show mercy to anyone, not even kids. And here we have Spy Naps. He naps a lot. He's sleepy. Zoom up on his face. We have Teddy Ursula. Now, this Pokemon is going to be very important. You'll see why in a minute. Oh, uh -huh. What is... Hmm? What is that? Michael! The Aura Reader is responding! That's a Shadow Pokemon! Hey, Michael, hurry! Throw a Pokeball at it! Alright! Go, Pokeball! I mean... I mean, go! Snagball, apparently! Yep. We're bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What we gonna do when you when we steal your stuff? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we steal your your Pokemon? What was that? My sure Pokemon. Was that? Was it a snag? Yep, we stole your Pokemon. And then I made a reference to cops. Kid. What is that machine on your arm? Could it be a sag machine? What the heck is that doing here? That's big news. Come on, move. I need to report this to headquarters like now. Run, Michael, run. Run like Superman. And they fly away on their flying car that I wish I had. Bye bye. So before anyone asks, yes, this Teddy Ursula is going to be part of my team. I actually don't usually use this thing, but I'm going to use it this time. Because I'm pretty sure Ursa, this thing evolves into Ursaring, and I'm also really, really, I'm also pretty sure Ursaring has a monster attack set for a normal type. We've contacted the police and the proper authorities. He's about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discover anything. So I can't believe that this is happening. Professor Kane was, was and predicted that someone would try to make out of Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Michael, that Teddy Ursula that you snagged probably isn't the only Shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purify Chamber is completed, we'll be able to see many Shadow Pokemon. But Professor Kane's crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do! And then, epic music begin. Let's complete it! We'll finish the purified chamber ourselves! Lily, the director's not here! It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of, verge of finishing. This is, this is the time to feel sorry for yourself. The purified chamber project got this far just because, not just because Professor Crane was here. We got here because we all were to the team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our prize scientist is on the line. Let's finish this project at once. Things will get very busy around here. I'm going to suggest and check how the data is processed. It. How the data processing is progressing. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I have nothing to talk about. I could explain what Shadow Pokemon... Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let me explain what Shadow Pokemon are now. Let's go into it. Now, notice... Now, first you'll notice it has no nature. Very odd. 
Next you'll notice, unlike Evie, who has my trainer ID, Teddy Ursula does not. It, you'll also notice that he doesn't have, have an OT, which is original trainer. Odd, very, very odd. Now, you'll notice, as here, you're, you can see Eevee's experience bar, while here, Teddy Ursula has a shadow Pokemon, which has a heart gauge it's instead. It also has the ability to pick up FYI. Also, you'll notice, these, it doesn't have, for some reason, these two moves are not locked, and instead it has two moves, Shadow Blitz, Shadow Mist. Now, as a shadow, as you battle with a shadow Pokemon, or even just walk around with it, the heart gauge on a shadow Pokemon will lower. And as the lo the lower the shadow, the heart gauge gets, the more moves are unlocked, even to the point where, sorry, even to the point where it yields its original nature. Now, a shadow Pokemon may not ever gain experience until purified, and you don't really get to purify Pokemon just yet. So yeah, you're stuck with Pokemon that can't do jack squat of them battle. Which is kinda what they're made for for, but yeah. Um another thing I'd like to ask my viewers out there, there who are in the Pokemon, what is your favorite Pokemon on on side game? Like a, a Pokemon game that's not in the main series, like one of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, Pokemon Snap, an example. Even Pokemon Coliseum or, um, XD, because even though it's not really a side game, a lot of people consider it one. And I'm sure Nintendo considers it a side game, too. So, if you've ever played uh, any of the side games, tell me what one's your favorite. Because I know I enjoy the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon franchise a lot, and it might be something I'm willing to let's play. Wait, hey, on an emulator. And I am skipping through the dialogue. Basically, basically what we were just told is we need to go to Gadium Port. The bum joined our party. Now we need to go to Gadium Port and get, I believe it's called the Power Up Part? I don't remember. It's either that Power Up Part was in another game, Pokemon game. Might have been another. Alright, let's go to Gadium Port. Also, this happens. Alright. Now, we're gonna get a bunch of folders here that I'm gonna read. If you don't want to listen to me read these, you can skip through this part of the video. If you do, do then just listen. These will explain some stuff. A little better than I probably could. Crane Memo 1. And reason, the Snag Machine. Shadow Pokemon are victims of criminals who use them for misdeeds. They must be taken from their bad masters and protected. The most effective means of taking such Pokemon from criminals is the Snag System, developed by Cypher five years ago during the arc of Pokemon Coliseum. It is an unforgivable act among trainers to steal another Pokemon, trainer's Pokemon, but there is no other way to save Shadow Pokemon. The Snag System was originally designed to steal any Pokemon from trainers. To merely lead develop a system that snakes only Shadow Pokemon and nothing else. Sna Let's crane Memo 2. Reason, the Aura Reader. Is it possible for ordinary people to distinguish Shadow Pokemon from regular Pokemon based on appearance? In developing a new snag system, our biggest challenge was devising some means of recognizing Shadow Pokemon immediately. We solved the challenge with a headset device that sends a Shadow Pokemon. We named that headset the Aura Reader. And that's it. Later shorter than I thought it was gonna be. But onwards! Onwards! Woods Mule! Yeah, yeah! To the Gatian Pot! Hurt with you! Yep, yeah. this is Pokemon XC. Beautiful animation, I gotta say, especially for a GameCube game. Potshop is over here! Yup, yup! This way! Go! 
good. That would hurt. Tell me about that. Hey now, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, don't be sorry. That's on purpose. And look what you've done. You messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, fattest, and house happening guy around. Begin to cut it. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? Trainer. This has more fun than munching. I'll stop you flat with my shadow Pokemon! Ooh. This is a good time to end the episode on a cliffhanger. So next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we see who this guy's shadow Pokemon is. And we see just how tough he is. See you then.